The door to hell on Earth, Darvatsa gas crater in Turkmenistan. The giant glowing crater called the Gates of Hell, the Darvatsa gas crater, or the door to hell in Turkmenistan is considered one of the most spooky and ethereal locations on the planet. This unplanned tourist attraction is a crumbling natural gas field that has been scorching for about five decades. Turkmenistan is a mysterious land, and the crater is in a remote location of Dervatsa. Because of this, there is very little available to say how the fire canyon got started. This is a wonderful place that should be on everyone's list of things to do. Stick around till the end to know about how it got started and other mysterious facts about this hotspot in the middle of a desert. What exactly is the gas crater in Dervatsa? The Darvatsa gas crater is a massive hole in the ground in the Karkum Desert in north-central Turkmenistan. For years, so many fires have been lighting up in the crater, fed by natural gas that leaks out of the ground. The sounds and sightings of the fiery crater are just so scary that residents of the region consider it the door to hell or the gates of hell. Each grooving spark shows where natural gas comes from the crater's wall surface, ground, or talus piles. The oxygen in the air makes it catch fire whenever natural gas comes out. When people get close to the crater, they can hear the roar of the fire and feel the warmth that makes it too hot to hold in some places. Downwind, you can feel the warmth and smell the smoke from far away. The crater is close to the village Darvatsa, also called Derwetsa in north-central Turkmenistan, about 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan. The crater is a hole in the ground 226 feet wide and 98 feet deep, including the end zones. It's about the size of three-quarters of an American football pitch. Throughout the day, the crater is fascinating, but even in the dark, it appears even more astounding. It glows all year long, but like most desert areas, the Karkum Desert gets very cool at night. Because of this, the campsite has relatively tiny tents for visitors to stay in. The Turkmen government expects that people will come to visit the door to hell. What causes the fire? The fires are triggered by natural gas that seeps into the crater from the rocks around it. The gas moves through joints which are natural cracks close to the surface, porous rocks units, and spaces between solid surfaces. These are the exact paths that natural gas takes when it goes into a well that has been drilled. These shipping paths make fires along the crater's wall surface and let gas permeate through the talus pile. Because of this, there are a plethora of tiny flames all over the crater. How did the gas crater at Dervatsa come to be? Wikipedia.org and numerous other sites say that a disaster while drilling for natural gas caused the crater. Even though these findings mostly agree, they don't cite any government studies or historical records. Geoscientists think that the Darvatsa gas crater developed around 1971, when Soviet geoscientists were looking for oil and natural gas. When they started drilling, they suddenly learned they had reached a cave, after which the ground under their tools began to sink. The team was able to get away, but their gear was misplaced when the building fell. Solely on a single edge of the crater, there is what is considered to be the leftover of the drilling rig. Rocks from the crater walls and edges started to fall into it. This gave the crater its present form, with vertical walls under the rim and heaps of talus that slope toward the middle. Geologists call this kind of characteristic a sinkhole because it happens when the surface of the ground drains or crumbles into the cavern. There have been 10 tries to put out the fire in the crater. Over the past five decades, many people have tried to extinguish the fire in the crater, yet none have been fruitful. In 2010, Turkmenistan's president, Gurbanguly Berdi Muhammadov, told the gates of hell to be put out. Early in 2022, Berdi Muhammadov called for the fires to be put out once again, but it wasn't evident how that would be done right away. Any efforts to wrap the crater would deal with two big problems. Initially, the fury fires, and second, the steady flow of poisonous fumes that keeps escaping. Do you know just one individual has gone into the fire and come out alive? George Karunas was the first person to go to the bottom of the pit and come back alive in 2013. Karunas went into the hole and took samples of the soil for National Geographic Expedition. He told Smithsonian Magazine about the interaction and said that the fire would emerge where he had drilled into the ground. For the expert adventurer and photographer to access the canyon securely, he needed special gear. Karunas was able to stay alive in the fire thanks to a helmet-proof suit and a Kevlar climbing harness. 
directly above the most violently burning part. There's still life in the fire. The National Geographic expedition found that in the harsh environment of the Darvatsa crater, a few strange living things were flourishing. Extremophiles are a group of living organisms that can thrive in harsh conditions. These microbes are a part of this category. Researchers discovered that these microbes were so well suited to living in the crater that they thrived in extreme temperatures and low levels of nutrients. This is primarily different from life on this planet, which tends to prefer ecosystems that are warm and full of food. Gates of Hell is among the warmest locations. The fact that their Vatsa crater is very hot is not a great shock. This hole is around six times warmer than the warmest area temperature ever measured on the planet. 134 degrees Fahrenheit in Death Valley, California. At 752 degrees, the Gates of Hell is many times hotter than Death Valley's record. Because of the intense heat, finding out what's inside the crater has been very hard. One of the weirdest camping areas on the planet. People who visit the Gates of Hell Canyon stay in tents and take naps around the upwind rim of the crater, where they can hear the orange light from the deep inside buzzing. Due to the hot winds that whip out of the canyon, people can only reside on the sections of the crater rim that are more comfortable. Travelers say that as the sun set, the temperature in the desert drops and keeping warm is now the most important thing to do at night. Dervanza Gas Crater is among the most unusual places to camp because it is hard to get to and looks like it is from another world. Approximately 10,000 visitors travel each year. Not bad, right? The fire within the crater is fed by poisonous gas. A few decades earlier, when the hole was first fell during an effort to find fossil fuels, there wasn't any fire going. It was just a workplace accident. The scientists quickly learned that methane gas was coming out of the recently opened crater. Technicians tried to stop the gas leak, but starting a small fire that they thought would go out in just a few days. But the squad at the crater didn't know that this location is linked to a significant volume of methane gas, which is the main part of natural gas. There might be a treasure in the hell. Yes, not in that way. But the Darvatsa gas crater may have a lot of economic potentials. Experts theorize that under the crater, there is a huge amount of methane that can be used to make natural gas. In Turkmenistan's huge Karkum Desert, this is not a far-fetched idea. The country has the second largest single natural gas field and the planet's sixth largest natural gas reserve. It's not transparent how much methane is underground, but enough of it is leaking out that the crater has already been burning without stopping for 50 years. So that's it for now. What do you think of this video? Let us know in the comments below and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. And before you leave, you can make us super happy by subscribing to our channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.